what's new this is authentic epic boom i hope my boomers are good and my viewers hope you're having a beautiful blessed day this is a new segment on my channel called gay station this is where i talk about gripes complaints the niche the discrimination the bullshit that we as gay people go through so i've been thinking for a while i need to do something like this we're going to talk about gay bullying, what it means to be gay, coming out the closet. I'm going to get to it all. Y'all have seen my coming out one and two stores. If you have not, please go check them out. Might be able to give you some insight if you're a parent, a friend, a family, or if you're not out yourself. Maybe it's something I can say within my words to help you and give you that aha moment. But anyways, um, let's get straight to it. I was coming, uh out of my bathroom and I heard somebody saying them fucking faggots you know when I hear stuff like that it bothers me everybody's in everybody has an opinion we all have thoughts we all have movements but that don't mean the way you move or everything that you say needs to be heard everything that's thought should not be said and I'm quoting my mama on that one right there just, you know, when you're so keyed up and sensed on why I'm gay or somebody else is gay or trans or bi or queer or whatever within the LGBTQ you want to say, when you're keyed in on somebody else's life, their happiness, their preference of who they are, you should be focused on you, your drama, your bullshit, all the skeletons in your closet. It's always somebody out there that feel like they can judge. That just kills me. You know what I mean? It really does because it boggles my mind because it's like, you should be concerned about you, what you got going on, but people not. Have tunnel vision about your life. Stop worried about us being gay and being free and being us. You ain't got to like it. We ain't got to like you. We ain't got to like nobody straight. I don't discriminate get, excuse me, discriminate against anyone. I, I don't. Be who you are, love who you are, whoever you fuck in your bedroom has nothing to do with me. Why would that have any type of thought process in my life? And if you're listening out there, I know what it is to come out. I know what it is to be discriminated against. And sometimes when you hear stuff like that, it'll put you further back in the closet from coming out. Because it's somebody that needs to judge. Keep in mind, nobody is God but God. Nobody has the right to judge. The more you judge me and others, that's how much more you're going to be judged on your day. I've been told that I'm from gay. I'm gay, huh? Yeah, I am. You're going to hell. Well, you know what? You're going to bust it wide open before I do. That's usually my response to some more. I've had arguments with plenty of guys, and it shouldn't be that way. Because even if I was straight, who said I would be able to be attracted to you? I can see. I, I don't have cataracts. I got 20-20 vision. So even if I was straight, I wouldn't fuck with you. You wouldn't be on the criteria. I don't deal with, first of all, I don't deal with people outside of my species. And I wouldn't deal with anything coming out of the fucking toxic gas sewer. So that means you're left the fuck out. Look at that. People feel like they could just say anything to gay people. They can do anything to gay people. They feel like they that we're beneath them. We're not beneath anybody. We're all humans. Nobody's above us. Nobody's beneath us. When you got a problem with us, then don't deal with us. But you know what? Sometimes when somebody's so aggravated and pounding and boiling over who you are, they got a problem with them. And that's the real issue. So I'm gay. <laughs> I'm here to stay. That is never fucking going away. Stamp that on something. And if you need to talk, my ears is wide open. I'm here for you. Leave it right here. If you're being gay, if you're gay, you're being bullied, going through some discrimination of any kind, any sort, drop me a message, email me. Let's talk about it. 
All right, I can't go live, people. I wish I could. I tried to on Monday when I was doing a video and it pissed me off. I said, due to copyright strikes or some old bullshit, I can't go live. So I can't even do that. But I do have a U now. I do have Uber and all that other stuff. So I will probably link this in this video. And we can just talk about how we can have these things. And oh, one more thing. Um, I signed up for Encore. Thanks to my friend Ava Nuvo. It's it's a way of having a great podcast, your own station you create. People listen to you, listen to them, they can call in, leave messages and stuff like that. So I will leave that in the box. I only did two uh podcasts so far. Wasn't for sure if I wanted to do that as well. But yeah, that you know, we can express some things, get in a conversation, create maybe like a timeline where we talk about the gay station. So um this is my second little gay station. I will talk to you guys soon. I'm setting it up for right now. Peace and blessings. Stay woke. Rainbow pride all day. Keep your mind open. And there's always a gray area with every predicament and situation. Know that. All right. And I'm out. Do, 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 do.